push it. Yeah, uh, today is the Stingray clone by Infinite. This is the Copper Black Edition. I have my complaints about this mod, but I also have my uh, my applause for it because it, it's a nice little clone, even though it has its faults. Uh, fault number one, I'm going to open the box and show you what's left in the box. Um, this is the 352. I cannot get my top cap to screw onto this to save my ass. I don't know if it's just swarth in the threads or what, but I don't want to mangle those threads. And I mean, they're really fine. Okay, let's see if we can get the autofocus. Make it focus that way. See, they're really fine. And there's gunk in there. And it, machine oil, I believe. And there's also swarth in the box. So that sucks. I got number 11. Um, here it is in 18650 mode with a nano K fun. Um, let me flip around. It's the Stingray logo. Oh, it says Stingray that way. Stingray. The Stingray. Yeah, it, it's okay. It's okay. Um, it comes with the drip tip and everything below the K fun. Um, it also came with a nice little ding. Boom. Let me just make it autofocus real quick. Alright. Yeah, you can see the ding, even with it not focused. You can see the ding. See that ding? And it's fairly deep, and I don't like it. But what are you going to do? You get a pre order. It happens. Um, take autofocus off so you can see this ding. Now, for a mod brand new out of the box, this, this to me isn't really acceptable. Um, but I understand pre orders, you know, you get what you pay for. Um, it's rushed out of the factory. It's kind of like first or second run of this device. So, you know, what are you going to do? There's my serial number, number 11. Uh, I'm also going to discuss this button, which I've been having some trouble with. Um, no, it's not going to do it. See? It's not firing, but it's stuck. That fixes it, but it's really frustrating when I get this like that okay and that's not very safe because there's not much throw to this at all um, I really wish that we could get a button fix or um, new tubes but you know what am I gonna do I received this from voltage vapor shop in a pre-order uh, I ordered from eBay and I received this. I do like the mod. I like the concept. I like the very light button push. If you hit it dead center, I, I mean dead center, it's not going to be an issue. It releases. It doesn't make contact with the copper. It's not holding. But if you hit the side, as soon as you hear that click, it just it grips the copper. And I mean, you kind of have to wiggle the button to get it to loose. But Anyway, it doesn't really rattle around too bad. I also have another complaint. To get... I'll take it off auto. I need to really stop taking it. I don't do tabletop reviews, guys, so you're going to have to deal with this. I have a gap, and that's to get this button to not show threads of the switch. If I flush mount of my top cap with the batteries I have, which are flat top Sony VCT4s are not like long long batteries or anything um, it shows thread and that's a I mean what are you gonna do and I've tried adjusting this Delrin but it just doesn't go any deeper than where it is um, I mean I can really crank on this trying to get it down but I can't I can't get it to adjust anymore it's it's it bottoms out um, you can remove this top piece. I'm just going to show you. This is my other complaint. I hate doing this too. I noticed this when I took the switch apart to try to adjust it. Look at that. That magnet's just in there free. This is the opposing magnet. And you have to like flip it back around and fiddle with it. That's the other contact. Um... 
And I've really cranked on this thing, trying to get it to go down farther so I can get my button farther up in there. But that's all I can get. And I mean, it seems like, I mean, this motion's fairly smooth. And honestly, it, it's kind of a bit of a wonky switch. Let me make sure that these are posing still. Yep. And it's kind of a bitch to get this piece back in there. There we go. And um, you can use this to adjust the throw. So there's a longer throw there. But, I mean, if I adjust the throw on this now as is, I'm... If I adjust the throw, I, I my button's sticking out like far as shit, and I don't like that. I like my buttons to be nice and flush. So I'm stuck with what I have here. Um, and yes, I am I am doing a little bitch fest here. This is kind of to me it's unacceptable for a company to send this out. Uh, I don't blame Voltage Vapor Shop because they got the box. Uh, they made sure all the parts were in the box, and they sent it out to me. I, I can't blame them on that. At least I got all my parts. Uh, from what I remember from what was on Facebook, they got like the first 50 units without drip tips, and the next 150 were sent out to them, plus the 50 drip tips. Now, that means I got some of the first that they sent out, so maybe someone who has a higher number has better luck than I do with having my their tubes screw in better, or something like that. But, regardless, I do like this clone. I just wish it was just a touch better. I paid like 50 bucks, somewhere around there, for 49, 50, between 40 and 50 bucks. I can't remember exactly. But I mean, it's nice quality for what I paid. Now, if I had paid $100 for this clone, I'd be extremely pissed, but it's 50 bucks. Um, but at least my hands aren't going to turn green anymore. And, you know. It's a nice little clone. Now, time will tell if the finish will tarnish or anything like that, or if this black coating will come off. But, low voltage drop, decent mod. Um, that's kind of the conclusion of the review. Um, it does have a free floating center pin, it has all the features of the original. Um, Stingray, I mean, Stingray Copper Black. The only thing I do not like is it does have its issues that I wish could have been resolved from the factory, um, but I can't, I can't make them make these things better, okay? I can only bitch, you know? Uh, by the way, there's the bottom button, which is copper. No JD Tech logo there, by the way. It's just the Stingray that they copied. The Stingray. Stingray. You know. And a little bit of history on uh, stingrays in uh, Mesoamerican culture. Um, uh, Mayan and Aztec kings would use a stingray spine to pierce their foreskin and then pass a, uh, a thorn-laced twine through the hole and use that to drip that blood upon paper and burn it and give an offering to the gods. So, yeah, yeah. Kind of happy I'm not a stingray spine because uh, I'm not really into the whole Prince Albert thing. But moving on from that, um, I'm done with my little history lesson of the day. Um, I have the Hannah Mods V3 clone from Isigidi coming in. I don't know exactly who the manufacturer of this is, so I'm getting it in lime green and. Uh, hopefully it'll be in around May. I don't have a lot of other new things. I have an Addy to review, and I have a Dura Smoke e-liquid review I have to get to because I got those e-liquids on like the fifth or the sixth, and it's been like ten days or so, or maybe even before that. So, um, kind of a busy month. I was sick, so I haven't put very many. I, I haven't put up a video in like feels like two weeks. Um, let me take a toot here real quick. Steal a word. I mean, you know, if you fiddle with this mod a little bit, you'll get it to where you like it. Um, 
I just wish I could shave off some stuff. I might. I might shave off some of the Delrin somewhere. Or find a way to shorten the throw on the switch. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But guys, that's about all I have for you today. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Um, I would like to give a big shout out to Mark Hollandsworth, for, uh, the maker of High Altitude E-Liquid, who is now in two stores uh, in Muskogee. It's 918 Vapes and also Isiggy's in Arrowhead Mall in Muskogee. So big shout out to that. Um, I'm glad that your business is progressing and you do produce a very good quality juice. Um, I'd also like to give a big shout out to Yalik. Um, good quality juice, good quality, um, uh, I mean, from Israel, good quality shipping. Uh, everything gets here, no leaks, no problems. It takes a while in customs, but I mean, anytime you import a liquid of some sort, there's going to be some, some customs going like this. Um, but as of yet, there have not been too many issues um, regarding the vaping world other than there are some bans and the FDA is supposedly this month going to throw down its deeming regulations of some sort so hopefully they don't throw us too hard over the coals here and completely remove all flavors which would really suck or all the e-liquids and I have a feeling that that's what they're gonna try to shoot for is to aim for the e-liquid itself uh, due to all this press that they're throwing out there so um, if you know of someone who uh, has personal contact with the FDA, if you know someone who is in personal contact with your local senator, or if you yourself would make a phone call or an email, preferably a phone call, and if you really, 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 if you really care about your future physical health, um, pay a visit to your senator, your local senator's office. You know they should be within your county seat. Um, or your district seat, depending on, you know, the kind of gerrymandering you got going on. Um, but regardless, that's the Stingray clone and the updates for the channel. Uh, it's good to be back, guys. I love doing this. This makes me happy to be able to communicate to you guys. Um, and also, I get to show you my cool shirt. And I get to be like, give me some space. Um... One last tidbit of information, if you would like me to review your e-liquids and you have a company and you are not local, um, please, um, I'm going to put my personal email in the description box below. Um, please don't spam me, guys. If, if you guys want an e-liquid review done or if you would like uh, to send me a product um, or if, you would, if you're inquiring about me purchasing a product, or any inquiries thereof involving mods, juices, drip tips, anything. Um, I'm going to put my email in the comments below. You know what? I'm just going to put it like right here. Yeah, I'm going to put it right here. It's going to be my email. Okay, guys. So thanks a lot, and thanks for uh, thanks as always for watching. And uh, I'm going to be vaping on this wonky bitch for a little while. One nostril. Take it easy, guys.